Growing old is beautiful, and my desire for us is that we all get to live a long, strong, healthy life. In one of the initial videos in this channel, I talk about why I am so passionate about these kinds of conversations. The interest was sparked in my last year of campus and it has been growing over time. Our life is so great and it can be adjusted in so many ways other than the major milestones that we know of, such as birth, getting your ID, marriage, death. Those are all very big and you know, memorable events, but there is a lot that goes into these processes. And that is why we talk about personal development. We get to understand the nitty gritties of life and how we can adjust our lives so that we can have a better ending to it. I'm sure you have an idea from the title what we'll be talking about, but to start us off, I'll share a story that a friend of mine shared some time back, a few weeks back actually. The video was showing life inside an elderly home and there was a lot of mistreatment. It was so disturbing actually to watch, but we got through to the end. I got to process a couple of thoughts from that video and the first one was no one deserves that kind of life. Imagine the humiliation, the pain, the physical pain and even the mental torture that these people actually go through. The second thing I thought about was what could have happened and resulted to them being there and I thought of maybe neglect from their caregivers at home, maybe they lost their loved ones, their family members died and they had no one else to turn to so they found themselves there. I truly hope that from the exposition that they got some help and maybe the government intervened or they got help from well-wishers. One of the things that really pushes me to talk about this kind of topics is a verse from the Bible from the book of Psalm 90 verse 12 and it's when Moses was asking God teach us to number our days so that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Prior to this verse, Moses was talking about how God is sovereign and how he lives on from generation to generation. But for us humans, our lives are so short. One minute we're here, the next we are gone. Actually, God says that the number of our years is 70. The average number of years we get to live, 70 and 80. 80 is when we are a bit strong. If we have the energy to keep us to then, then we get to live to 80. So imagine that is the time that we have been planned for here on earth. So now Moses with this understanding comes to God and is like, teach us to number our days, help us understand how short lived life is, the bravery of it. And then from it, we will approach life more differently. We will get to live it with a lot of wisdom. And for me, that's when personal development comes into the picture, because I want us to understand that there are a lot of decisions we can make that actually influence how we turn out, how our lives end. Thinking about that video that my friend had shared, I was like, how can we do things differently? How can I at least try not to end up in this kind of a situation? And the first thing that came to my mind was community, building community. People who are surrounded by love and laughter actually have healthier lives because there is a way that laughing just brings healing to our body. And if this is the kind of community that surrounds us, imagine how happy our lives will turn out and how long we will live. You draw mental and physical strength actually from having this kind of community around you. Because when you are stressed out, you talk about it with people that are in your neighborhood and you are able to heal. So imagine now what goes on in someone's mind, someone who is alone and they have no one around them. So building community is quite an important aspect, especially for the life ahead of us. The next thing which is mending broken relationships ties so well with our previous point because it eventually leads to us having community in the days to come. Thirdly, I would like us to really, really think about the bravery of life. Consider that you are not here for long and with that understanding, what choices are you making now? Choices regarding your health, choices regarding your security, financial security, and so, so many things. How are you developing yourself? Maybe it's changing your attitude towards life. Maybe it's changing how you approach different situations. How do you relate with people? These things will serve as security to us in our advanced years. So there's all the need to develop ourselves. There is 
always a need for us to grow and make better choices with the understanding of how short life is. So as I said, personal development is big and it allows us to embrace what life offers us and make better choices so that we are ending up in a better place. We might not be perfect, but we will end up in a better place than those who do not work on themselves. I hope this video showed you the importance of working on you, on growing yourself, because at the end of the day, it contributes to you having a better life. Seek to gain a heart of wisdom every day. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you've not yet and see you in the next video.